Okay. Radio engineering graphics and design learners. This is an important video because they've added welding symbols in this actual question. There it is, and we're going to spend some time looking at that. Uh, we're on page 2.1 of the HSE workbook. This is grade 12, and nobody is laughing because this is serious business. All right. Let's just look at what is given again to us here. I've actually not looked at this myself, but we're going to try and see if we can talk this through quickly. We've got different views here, labeled view C. Given the orthographic views of the components of a swivel arm, a pictorial view which shows the components of the swivel arm, and we have to use this to answer the questions. There is an exploded view, and then we have another view A, We've got different components highlighted here. Then we have, like always, our notes, alterations, your title block, and a welding symbol that's brand new. Now, in the description, there's a link to a much more detailed video where I actually discuss this symbol in more detail. So have a look in the description uh, if you want to know a bit more, but we'll talk through it as well. All right, there's a list of questions here. I'm going to try not to answer the ones that's straightforward, but rather focus on the more difficult ones. So, what is the name of the company? That's straight from the title block. When was the company established? You're going to read it and you're going to achieve those answers. What is the order number? How many of these swivel arms? That's straightforward. What is the standard unit of measurements? That's going to be millimeters. What is the title of the drawing? People, if you can't read, you are in trouble. Swivel arm. Um, what is the file name? That's here. Who, ma who made the drawing? When approved? We're at uh, number 11 already. What scale has been used? People, scale 1 to 2. Okay, honestly, those questions are straight up. Uh, how many times has this drawing been revised? Two times. What was the first revision? Change the PCD. That's number 1 there. Um, how many surfaces of component 1 requires machining? All right. Let's take a breather and have a look. There's the machining symbol. All right. And now we look at the views that's given. And we can see our machining symbols. All right. It's this triangle with a line in with it. All right. We're at number 14. And we just have to double check how many surfaces. So if we look at this, there's one, two, three. It's that flat surface. Four, five. Is there anywhere else a machining symbol that you're missing? One, it's going to be all around here. Two is going to be this bottom part. Three is this top flat surface. Four is again all around here. So that's one, it's a circle. That surface is also all the way. So nowhere else is there a machining symbol. I mean, I can think, oh, look here. Ah, what's that? There's one hidden. So we're at one, two, three, four, five. One, one, two, three, four, five, six. Six surfaces. I would actually count, if you look at this, that machining symbol is that one hole. How many holes do we have? One, two, three, four. Okay, so you can't miss that. So you've got one going around, two at the bottom, three, four, five, and then we actually have six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, I can't, Im I can't guess that the outside is also machined because there's no machining symbol, but they've indicated that this countersunk hole here, or core bo board hole, has a machining symbol, so I have to count that for all four, the similar parts. Is it by? Okay, so we're at nine. What process must be applied to achieve the required finished? Okay. Um, I think it says grinding here somewhere. Okay, go pick your view. seen slip. You guys see anywhere where it indicates the? Because normally it stands here as. Um, 
on that it says grinding. Oh, actually. Well, I'll have to check on that one. But normally it would say the word grinding or slip on one of that. All right, I'll double check that for you. All right, let's go on to the next one. Um, what feature, do, what, what must the surface roughness be for the finished surface? All right, now the surface roughness is that tolerance there. All un, no, that's not that. Okay, N5, there's a N5 now. That is your roughness. What must be the surface roughness of the finished surface? N5. There. It's very sm small written, so, but I think you can see that. What does feature A represent? R, you saw. That is an Afrikaans versinkte gat. In English, counter borehole. Okay, then we have feature B. Uh, where's that one now? So there it is on top. That's well known. That's the rib of the web. All right, then C is our key way. Spijgleef. Then D is weer terug hier onder. Haas D. Okay, look at that. What does this mean? Gedeeltelike snit. Partial section. Well done. Mooi so. B. Uh, Wie boe? Is that a rib or a web? Okay. Alright, so we've done D. Let's do E. This is this 45 degree here. There it says 45. English, chamfer. C-H-A-M-F-E-R. In Afrikaans, afkanting. Afkanting. Okay. What is the dikte van die web? What is the thickness of this web? Okay, so let's look at the views we have here. We have a top view. Front view and a removed section where it actually says eight. Zille bij acht millimeter is die weite van die rib. Okay. What type of section is view B? I just said that removed section for wider is not. Is daar wel om afvat en hulle sit maar in kan. Okay, then. Uh, what is the permissible tolerance on the dimension of the component? What is the tolerance, to laadbare tolerance daar? 0,5. Alright, so unless otherwise stated, tolerances on dimensions are plus minus 2.5. Um, the question there actually asks what is the permissible tolerance on the dimensions? So the total, you have to add the 0.25 for the plus and for the minus, it comes to 0 0.5. Well done. What is the upper limit of dimensions at F? Kom ons krijg ek over F daar so. Daar is hy, hy is 14, so is 14,25. Die, um, dis die maximum, die minimum gaan wees 13,75. Sê by? Alright, how many components are used in the assembly? How many onderdele word gebruik in hierdie? Daar is 5 van hulle. En daar is 1 van elk. Nee? How many fasteners are used in the assembly? So we have the key, we have the nut and the washer. 3. There they actually have drawn them for you. 3, die wasser, die um, moer en die woodruff spy. Alright, um, then... The given figure shows a welding symbol. Print the appropriate label next to the corresponding. Okay. People, now I'm going to zoom in here and you have to pay attention. There's the welding symbol. People, so this is the old dog. Okay. Let's have a look here. Okay. Number one is the start. Number one is the tail. It's this here, the tail. Okay. Number two is the Swiss symbol. You must now inscribe the whole of your plaques here. Number two is the Swiss symbol, or number two is the welding symbol. Number three is the reference line, the verwijzingslijn. Okay, verwijzingslijn. 
Nummer 4 is een pijl. Je ziet, dat is daarom amper onmogelijk om te doen. Number 4 is je arrow. Number 5 is de site welding symbol. Site welding symbol. In Afrikaans is dit die terrein swijs symbool. Terrein swijs symbool. Right, nummer 6 is die steek van swijs. Die steek van swijs. In Engels is called the pitch of the weld. Pitch of the weld. Number 7 is the length of the weld. Die lengte van die swijs. Lengte van die swijs. Nummer 7. Nummer 6 is die steek van die swijs. Nummer 7 is die lengte van die swijs. Nummer 8. That is the finishing symbol in Afrikaans, the afwerking symbol. Number 8. Here is the finishing symbol of the afwerking symbol. Number 9 is a contour symbol. Number 9 is a contour symbol. Contour symbol, contour symbol. Number 10 is the size of the world. In this instance, it's a 5. The grootte van die swijs. Grootte van swijs. Number 11 is the swijs process. The welding process. And number 12 on this side is that circle there. It's weld all round. Rondom swijs. Nou gaan ek vir jou gauw gau hier help. Baie goed wat hier gesê is. Die wat hulle al baie gevra het, is nummer 1, waar die sterk is, nummer 2, waar die swijs symbool is, nummer 4, um, waar die pijl is, the arrow, ok, then nummer 5, is die terrein symbool, en die rondom swijs, die 2 altijd nummer 5 en nummer 12, ok, the site welding symbol and the weld all around. That they've asked many times. And then they've also asked here number 11, which is the welding process, the swice process. Ek sal nou vir jou sê, leer nou maar die ander ook, maar those were common ones that they've asked previously. Um, I'll have to actually take some time to explain this symbol with maybe some pictures of welds, because if you are a welding inspector or actual welder, you know, this is the symbol that they're going to give you. And that gives you certain information, just like any drawing, on what kind of welds you need to perform. Can I maybe just say this? That there is a very lucrative career for guys who's expert welders. Like, with your hands, working with your hands, an expert welder, I'm not, I'm, I'm really talking about a guy that's working on in engineering companies where there's very um, important welds to be done. They are highly, highly paid, skilled laborers. And then the guys that's inspecting these welds are also very sought after, and there are very few, at least in South Africa, there's not a lot of welders. So uh, it can be something that's a career for some of you one day. All right, that's an overview of page 2.10. Um, and it's the last mechanical analytical that we do. So please watch the video that's in the description on mechanical symbols in general, according to Sans, and prepare yourself well for your upcoming test. Thank you for watching. Now it's real turn.